have some cajones. These boys have a lot of cajones. They bring out you the enigma. Okay, okay, yeah. I'm going Los Mosses as well. Uh, the, the lineup of immediates is just too greedy. There is not enough room for everybody. They are going to be disrupting their own farming patterns. And and this is Axel. There must be something with the tags, you know, just adding as there's a storm hammer from Jim Park. Surprise for a loan. But he is not actually alone. A Stinger and Michael, they rotate around, but stuck as the Arc Ward and eventually gonna die despite a nice stun from Sacred. Slayton will be the exchange kill. Can they get Kotaro on top of this? Or even Stinger? Something more would be so nice. Beautiful fade. Bolt, but at the same time, no kill on to Stinger. As, as we can already see, he's leading my two last hits. Oh, I'm sorry, but we missed the kill because of me. Stinger and Kotaro might be run down as well. Ooh, nice spike. Beautiful spike. But the Infernal Blade as well. Devil diving in, but the Scorched Earth. It's a good tactic. After level 6, it's an additional hero. But talking about the additional hero, now they have two. No Anyone time to chit chat humble. as Devil diving down. Yeah, yeah, there goes the Scorched Earth. It's a good play, but at the cost of sacrificing Devil, I think Slayton might get caught as well as the Tempest Double is actually going to set up another Spark Wraith, and Kotaro is happy to take the kill. Hi, XTS, or actually named Stinger, as X Stinger gonna get wrecked to pieces. And yeah, an instant four man reaction. Four three man Coming out onto Devil as Lucifer himself. It's like a big exorcism coming out from Invaders as they're gonna move on to Los Motors' offlane once again, taking Sladen with them. For granted, Michael gets the kill. Well, Kotaro is just gonna be happy that he can chill farm. But yeah, they're mitigating it a lot. Yeah, you're actually right, because that's the tower that's enabling your swam to farm the jungle. Once your once the tower falls or oh, you yeah. need the initiation to slide in, it's but gonna yeah, be a kill. Body yeah. symbol. As Winter's curse on uh, Stinger. Okay, interesting. As Axel trying to escape the double wraith. Spark as Faker rotating oh out. God, get the me. back hole off on top of Faker. Biased towards that. I think the echo is just too good with the oh, God, strength as Slade, and he's just multi sucking people off sacred with a very low HP faker diving forward. And he's just gonna overload the centaur as the black hole once again with the connection, but stunned down, controlled is the enigma. As on to Michael, they make a return. Lost Motus. Uh, oh no, no, my analyst, my analyst, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> as. Up with the stun, on to Stinger, he has nothing to answer, as he will pay for his sins. Doom out, onto a low, nice stampede control, but the Doom is stolen, Devil! Get wrecked by the Rubik Pentagram. And That's down bottom, we have That's a big huge. catch on to Sacred, as with the God Strength, Jim Park just takes care of the Centaur War Runner. There is... On the other hand, Faker. Oh no, he's not gonna go in for the bounty, knowing full well that there's a black hole waiting just for him with his name on it. His bait was huge. They scanned the top uh, part, uh, the ro rosh, top part of the rosh pit. They found out they, that they might be doing rosh. Then the center showed them bottom that uh, he's gonna be safe farming, and they got him. Now they are gonna be going for rosh. Oh, the strategy of this game, or actually realizing that they don't have enough damage, so Here. they are gonna be smoking up. Oh my Here god. Here comes the smoke lay though from invaders. They're coming in with the reaction axles. Very, very front and center, which I'm not really a fan of. Is Jim Park stoning of the war cry alone. Going forward with the Tempest double, but here comes Devil with the Shiva's Guard. He's trying to find some information. They find the loot on the back line. Kodaro is dead. just gone. MNZ is dead. But yes, they do find the counter onto the Winter of Iron. That is a crucial part of the Los Modus plan. As Stinger, on the other hand, yeah, and he just, oh, he wanted the black hole, but the Storm Hammer shoved in his face. Goodbye, Stinger. That was the black hole interrupted. He even casted it. Oh, no. He's just tempting them with the... A bit of a taunt, but out uh, ball lightning backwards. Michael jumping with Sacred. There goes the Doom as the stolen Doom going back on to Devil. Stinger trying to make an approach. Then goes with the Harpoon. Jim Park, he's just cleaving through the Tempest Double. 
along with Stinger taking out the Enigma there. I hear an Eclipse going out, but the Hex play stayed, and he's just uh, sitting with his suction. As he stuns up the Luna Faker, he cannot slide long enough, but the Harpoon will pull in the Rubik nice and close. The Arctic Burn stolen will not do any help for the Rubik. That's sacred. Slide in, on to the Centaur. He, to uh, he doesn't get the Hoof Stomp off though. Uh, Yule? He just wants to force the Stampede. Yule Stamp up. And yeah, with the Stampede trying to run away as Income Stinger does have the Black Hole available. Yule put it out onto two as the Stolen Out. Arctic Burn. A control onto the Enigma as they will just start hunting people down, finding the real Arc Warden. He's not the Pinocchio this time, Esco Taro. In with the God Strength, Jim Park going forward. He has the Aegis, he has the BKB, and the power of the Devil behind him, but no, he's just... He's having fun. I don't know what Slayton's doing, it's uh, such a weird build. If they would be losing, it would be so bad for the best faker. Gotta eat the Eclipse as in comes Jim Park. He's like, I'm gonna lay down the Storm Hammer as a Doom down onto Kotar on top of everything. Hex up onto the Enigma, 70 seconds without the Luna. As Stinger trying to throw out some Eidolons is still gonna get mana sucked as the Cleave is doing so much damage onto the Enigma. Devil super deep with the Winter's Curse, a bit of control coming out onto Sacred. As with the BKB, Devil's just gonna disconnect. Beautiful Gleipnir timing though, as with the Hustam, they'll take out. Sacred dying once again. So oh, Stampede, no mana! Oh no. And unholy death on Sacred. Let's go, Taro. That's why you build the wall magic run, not just the stick. Lesson learned. Taro gonna get the Tormentor with the help of the Eidolons. I think they're almost dying into the play. <laughs> As, uh, yeah, alone now has the boots of travel. But as we see, can see, Faker just diving in onto Stinger, trying to bait out the black hole. As Jim Park, he's just wrecking down Kotar. <laughs> My lungs. It's not a good day to be Kotar right now. Yeah, and look at look at them. They almost catch out onto the Rubik. Michael is just gone. Glad they're onto two. Alone coming about. But uh, no kills, no dice, no coconuts as sacred. Gonna get pulled back with the harpoon. Arctic Burn on the other side. We'll try and double edge onto the just enemy keep. as Jim Park. He's just gonna throw out the storm hammer and Faker. He's just right there with the connection. Sacred will fall like a pile of bricks. Wind Waker. Yeah, I love yeah. it. More oh, intelligence, more damage. Control. And speaking of Faker, more damage, more control, Kotaro. They just easily control the Give Luna as a huge stun coming out from Faden. From the other side of the map, they just dive the high ground now. As the Doom comes out, Doom stolen, throw it out onto Faker. As out comes the Winter's Curse, they get control on the Rubik. As the Wind Waker will save out on the Storm. As Stinger will call out the GG and Lost Motus, our caster Bless will push them <laughs> to the victory of game number one. Absolutely dominating as soon as they realize that, guys, we can actually have five good players, five good heroes. How about we start pressing buttons and start buying items? And yeah, they won the game.